What would happen if all the water on Earth froze for five minutes, then turned back into its original form immediately afterwards? The climate of the Earth has fluctuated quite a bit over the last 4.6 billion years of our planet's history and it can be expected that the climate will continue to change. One of the most intriguing questions in Earth science is whether the periods of ice age are over or are we living in a period of time between ice ages? This is Googleplex and let's imagine that for some unknown reason all water on our planet would freeze instantly for five minutes. Well, the water expands about 9% when being frozen. The average depth of oceans is about 3,688 meters, so it will expand 332 meters on average. Imagine all the tensions the ice creates by expanding in every direction. Imagine all the coastal cities run over by vertically rushing ice bucket interior. Dams would crack and burst, pipes would explode, and many local earthquakes would probably happen due to the dilation in underground water. Secondly, mainly heat will explosively escape this chunk of ice and the climate will get hotter. Yes, the parts of the planet that are not covered with ice will get darn hot and quite windy as the vast air masses are changing their places worldwide. But we wouldn't be here to enjoy this winter wonderland. Most living organisms would be transformed into pulp as strawberry after a stay in the freezer. The human body is more than 60% water, so assuming it freezes instantly, those organs that rely on water like your brain, heart and lungs would stop working. Also, your cells rely on water to live, so those would all die and 5 minutes would probably be enough to make all this happen. So pretty much most of every kind of life is doomed except for some specialized life forms and extremophiles. By the time water melts, life as we know it would be vanished. It would be like Antarctica everywhere, ice hundreds or thousands of feet thick. The last places not to freeze would be the ocean deeps and the places under the glaciers that are volcanically heated. And it's possible that chemosynthetic organisms would be able to survive in this localized warm refuges. Life as we know it would have to adapt to survive to our new frozen earth. Humans could live in submarines in the deepest and warmest parts of the ocean or on a spaceship orbiting our snowball earth, but a more attractive option might be nuclear or geothermal powered habitats like in a matrix style city. Eventually, the planet will freeze and Earth will be a solid, frozen chunk of rock sailing through space. But that won't happen for millions of years. Hopefully by then, we will have found a way to leave our once prosperous world and migrate to a new home. Geological evidence suggests that oceans may have frozen at least twice before. We were a blinding white Christmas tree ornament in the blackness of space. Snowball Earth! The last time was around 650 million years ago. Enough single-celled organisms survived that event to repopulate the Earth. Sometime over the course of the next couple of decades, Earth will enter a big freeze. Well, maybe just a little freeze. So regardless of its size, a new ice age is heading our way. What do you think about the future? Share your predictions in the comments below and don't forget to give this video a like and share it with your friends and click subscribe to always stay with Googleplex.